uh, at the airport. There are two big ones. Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma City is on the east side of the city, and on the west side is Will Rogers, the big airport in Oklahoma City. Our own Janet Shamlian was clear of her assignment for nightly news East Coast time, went to the airport to travel back home, got there, and was quickly told to get underground with several hundred of her closest friends. Uh, that's where she's been tonight because they've been under a take cover warning at the airport. Janet, are you with us? Uh, yes, I am, Brian, and I'm afraid I grossly underestimated the number of people down in that shelter under the airport. It was more like 1,500, most of them who are still there. We have just pulled out of the airport, and I've got to tell you, there is the flooding has already started. The garage is the parking garage at the airport was flooding. Um, we were barely able to get out of the airport. There is debris strewn all over. Uh, some of the hall lights are down. Some of the, the airport ornamentation or sculpture, if you will, has toppled over. And uh, unlike some of the scenarios you're describing, there's no, there's very few cars out on the road uh, here near the airport right now. We're in a heavy rain. The skies are ominous, uh, lightning, and uh, most people are still in the shelter uh, at the airport. And that crowd has grown to 1,500, many of whom were not flying or were not working. They came there because they knew it was a shelter. They brought their pets. They brought their babies. And they are still there taking shelter at this time, Brian. And, Janet, thank you. While you're talking, these what look like lightsabers down on the ground, those are interstates and those are headlights. Uh, those kind of spears of white light. This is the KFOR helicopter. They've been up all night. They've stopped once to top off on fuel. But again, it, it's, it's a swarm. It's a cluster of tornadoes. Oklahoma City metropolitan area, uh, uh, obviously a major U.S. city. Uh, more Oklahoma just to the south. And as we mentioned, I don't know if we can call up live pictures from our NBC station in St. Louis right now. But there have been dramatic pictures tonight as taken underneath the iconic St. Louis Arch on the Mississippi River as they have had a confirmed tornado approaching from the western suburbs of St. Louis. Uh, look at that wall of red. So um, there on the left of that uh, graphic, um, they have had much severe weather coming in from the west. St. Louis is there on the lower left. Um, if you're familiar with the area, the uh, suburbs of uh, uh, Clayton, Ledoux through there, Alton, Illinois, north of there, uh, all of it uh, has been under threat tonight. And they had a, uh, uh, while the metropolitan uh, St. Louis area will probably be spared from an actual uh, funnel cloud coming through there, uh, still the take uh, cover order has gone out.